What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna to be going over the build I've been having the most fun with in Diablo 3 Season 26, and that's gonna be the brand new Barbarian's Raycor set. So today I'm gonna to go over everything you need to assemble the build, so let's hop right into it. So starting off with the new recalibrated, redone, revisited set is the Raycor set. So we're gonna go over the bonuses that you get for this set. So at the two Piece set, you're going to get a Furious Charge refunds a charge if it only hits one person. This means that every time you hit somebody with Furious Charge, you're going to be able to get one charge back. So that way you can keep moving around the map. That's what makes this set really nice. The mobility is really good for a Barbarian outside of the Whirlwind. So Furious Charge is just really nice. At the four-piece set, you're going to get uh, Furious Charge gains the effect of every rune and deals 1,000 increased damage. So this isn't where we're going to be getting our damage from. So that increase is nice, but it's not where we're going to be getting our damage from. We're going to be getting our damage from from the Ancient Spear. So uh, the next part of the four-piece set is that for every 1% of life you're missing, the damage of your Ancient, ancient Spear is going to be increased by 2%. So this is great. So as you're up in people's faces, you take damage, you're going to be dealing more. At the six set bonus, this is where things get really fun. So hitting enemies with furious charge or weapon throw increases the damage of your next spear by 5,500% and causes it to release spears, multiple spears from its target. It's kind of like a shotgun spread whenever you hit somebody with rock, you know, the rock throw rune, which is what we're going to be recommending or the boulder toss rune that's on there. This effect stacks at each spear throne consumes a maximum of five stacks so as you continue to hit people with furious charge or weapon throw if you decide to use that which is one thing we use in this build you're going to increase your damage by 55 hundred percent up to five stacks and then when you boulder toss you're going to be clearing out enemies so now that we got the set pieces done let's go over some key pieces that you're going to need for the build all right so starting off you're going to need the atria's law the 300 spear and then the band of might so the atria's law is weapon throw and ancient spear deals 198 percent damage increased or 200 percent damage increased um just in general weapon throw generates up to 50 additional fury based on the distance of the enemy hit so there's two ways to go about it you can be more mid-range or if you play uh, up in their face you're not going to be too much worried about that but you're going to be able to get a lot of fury back and then the new kind of tweak to this is the generated fury can go above the maximum cap of 200 fury ancient spear also refunds up to 50 fury based on the distance which is the same thing at a medium build to help reset your cap then the 300 spirit is going to increase your damage uh up to 200% just in general. And then the attack speed of weapon throw is going to be increased by 200%. So if you want to use that to be able to get refill your fury and then boulder toss is going to be really great. Now, the real big thing about this build is that it's really squishy. There's not too many things that keep you from dying. So that's why band of might is just so crucial in this build. Band of Might is after you're going to be casting Furious Charge, Ground Stomp, or Leap, but in this case, just Furious Charge, you're going to get 80% reduced damage for 8 seconds. This is essential to help keep you alive. Now, going back to some things that you're going to, some, you know, oddball and end items that you're going to need for the build, we're going to go with the Captain, Captain Crimson set, which helps keep us alive a little bit and help keeps the cooldown of our abilities. So that way, we're always going to be, be able to use uh, Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients. Okay, so Captain Crimson set is going to be reducing your cooldown of all skills by 20% and then all the resource costs by 20%, but also the damage dealt is increased by the percentage of our cooldown and then damage taken is also reducted by the percentage of our cooldown, which is great. This helps keep us alive just a little bit, not much, but helps us make sure we keep almost permanent uptimes on our Call of Ancient and Wrath of the Berserker. Okay, so now moving on to our skills. Our skills that we're going to be using for this build are going to be Call of the Ancients. So when you use Call of the Ancients, you're going to be able to summon three allies to help keep you dealing as much damage as possible. And the rune we're going to go on with it is going to be the Together as One. So 50% of all damage dealt to you is increased or, excuse me, in, uh, divided between all of the Ancients until they die, which is really great. Next is going to be Warcry. This is going to be one of the our Fury Generators for the build, along with Call of the Ancients. Call of the Ancients, along with Warcry, is going to keep your Fury almost full on top of your Ferocious Charge. So this is going to unleash a Rallying Cry, which increases your armor and then your dodge chance by 30%. 
by uh, everyone that is affected by the war cry, which helps keep you alive a little bit. Next, of course, is going to be our Furious Charge. Furious Charge, uh, rush forward, knocking back and dealing 600% weapon damage to enemies along with your path. Now, with the set piece, you're going to get every access to all rooms, so you can just pick whichever one that you'd like just to have it on there. But this is going to be able to keep you moving around the map almost entirely nonstop. Next is Wrath of the Berserker. This is our ultra mode in the game. So you enter a Berserker Rage, which rages several attributes for 20 seconds. The room we're going to go with is Insanity. While active, you're going to get 50% increased damage. This is just for maximum damage because we are kind of squishy. So we want to almost pump out as much damage as possible and just kill them before they kill us. Next is going to be another Fury Generator. I prefer to use Weapon Throw. Um, just in case if I get hurt a little bit and I need to back up and just generate some fury, especially uh, for those times where Ancient Call of the Ancients and Wrath of Berserker isn't up. Weapon Throw is really great with balanced weapons to increase our fury generated to 9. Uh, this helps us build up our fury so that way we can just keep chucking boulders left and freaking right at people. And then last but not least, guys, is the key to this entire build is Ancient Spear. You throw a spear that pierces enemies and deals 500% weapon damage. Well, we're going to be going with boulder toss. So you're just chucking boulders all over the place. You expend all remaining fury, dealing 20% weapon damage for every point of fury expended to enemies within nine yards. And then you get that shotgun effect when you go into uh, chucking this thing. And then your fury just regenerates really, really, really fast. So next up, guys, is our passives. The passives that you're going to want for this is animosity, Boon of Bokathos, no escape, and then the best passive for Barbarians is the Rampage. So, starting off with Animosity, you're going to increase all Fury generation by 10%. That is a vocal point of this build, guys. You want to be able to keep your Fury full so you can chuck boulders at maximum damage. And then it increases maximum Fury by 20 more percent. Next is Boon of Bokathos. Reduces the cooldown of your Call of the Ancients and Wrath of Berserker each by 30 seconds. Crucial because we almost keep permanent uptime on these to, so that way we have maximum survivability and maximum damage. And then No Escape increases the damage of your weapon throw, Seismic, spam, seismic Slam, and Ancient Spear and Avalanche by 30% against enemies more than 15 yards away, guys. Again, if you want to use no escape to deal like play this build more of a mid-range than you can and definitely get that advantage but when you're you know using the ferocious charge all over the place you know you kind of don't deal maximum amount of this but it does help last and last last but not least is rampage guys increase the strength by one percent for eight seconds after killing or assisting in a killing an enemy this effect stacks up to 25 times so adding 25 percent strength is huge not only for damage but survivability so definitely, definitely, definitely take Rampage. Now, if you guys did, didn't did want to take uh, No Escape and kind of change that out, you could do Tough as Nails. You could also do uh, Nerves of Steel, something like that. Just, just kind of change it up. Or if you want, you could use Relentlessness if you are taking a lot of damage. Uh, those things are all really good substitutes. Uh, now, on to the things in the cube. Okay, so in your Kanaya's cube, we want the Messer Schmidt's Reaver. Okay, reduces the cooldown, uh, remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second for every enemy you slay. This is also going to help us with permanent uptime on our uh, Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients. Very key. Next is Fury of the Ancients. Call the Ancients. Call of the Ancients gains the effect of Ancients Fury Rune and your Ancients attack 100% faster. So what this does is it allows us to have our Call of the Ancients attack so fast that that way not only are they dealing more damage, but it helps recharge or re refill our Fury to maximum so we can keep chucking boulders. Last but not least, the only way that this whole build works is with Ring of Royal Grandeur. Obviously, you guys know what that one is. It reduces the items needed uh, for set bonuses by one, which helps our Caps and Crimsons and our Raycors set. Moving on to the Legendary Gems, guys. You're going to go with the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard. This is going to help keep you alive because we do run the Squirt's Necklace uh, for double damage. So Molten's helps us keep us alive with that. Next is Bane of the Trap, which is probably the best gem in the game. So increases damage against enemies under the effects of the control pairing uh, by 60% or more if you got this thing maxed out. You gain the aura, which reduces the movement speed of enemies with it within 15 yards by 30%, which is amazing because you're just going to be fiercely charging all over the place. And then last is the Zayas Stone of Vengeance. So damage dealt to you is increased 
Um, damage you deal is increased by 16% for every 10 yards between you and the enemy hit up to a maximum of 80. And then you get the 20% chance to help stun. So that with the bandit trap is going to help you do a lot of damage with the, um, you know, the control impairing effects. Now, the cool thing about the Zaya stone is that you do get the 16% even at close range, even if you're not more than, you know, two, three, 10 yards away. So this is great. So you do get some, even though if you wanted to change those up, you definitely could. But I like the Zaya Stone. It really helps uh, deal some additional damage for the build. And that's going to do it, guys, for my Season 26 Barbarian Raycourse set build. I have been really enjoying this build, guys, uh, ever since I started playing it. It's such a different way to play the Barbarian instead of just defaulting to Whirlwind Barb, which is cool. But when you play Demon Hunter all the time, you know, Whirlwind's not any different, in my opinion. So... Having this build is really, really fun, and it's just a different way to play Barbarian, and I've been enjoying it. So let me know what you think of the build uh, down in the comments. Make sure to like the video, guys. If you guys want to see the full build and all the real good notes, I have the D3 planner linked down in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.